up, Sauce Gang, and welcome back to the channel. Hot Sauce Beats here with a banger and educational reaction for you because In a Nutshell has just came out with a brand new video and it's called What Actually Killed the Dinosaurs. Now, this is something that we've all been taught in school and but there's always been speculation behind it and it, most of it's just a theory. So I'm super stoked to check out what In a Nutshell has to say about this. But before we do, can you make sure you show In a Nutshell some love by subscribing to the channel and fam, we're trying to get to a quarter million subs. So if you haven't yet, please smash that subscribe button and join the Souls gang family. But enough talking, let's get to reacting and roll that bomb ass intro. Hot sauce beats is finally here. Hot sauce beats is finally here. Eat, sleep, make beats. Eat, sleep, make beats. Hot sauce beats. Woo -hoo. Oh, what up, dinosaur? A ruthless murder was committed. Someone killed the dinosaurs. Hey, T-Rex. And we have the murderer. Witnesses say that an Everest-sized asteroid hit Earth, devastated the planet, and caused a mass extinction. A simple, fascinating, and convincing explanation. Or, or is it? In the last few Batman. years, new evidence has reinvigorated an older theory pointing at a second suspect. A very oh, yeah. slow and liquid asteroid, 1,000 times bigger, hitting Earth on the opposite side of the planet. Like the true crime channel we are, let's look at the new evidence and tell a different story that could change everything we thought this is we why, knew. Chat, hold on, hold on. This is why I love this channel. Stuff like, like I didn't know that there was another theory out there that a lot of people thought. The last days of a kingdom. 66 million years ago, Earth was barely recognizable. The heavens, dinosaurs. It was the last days of the Cretaceous, one of the hottest periods in Earth's history and much more humid. Lush jungles and woodlands covered much of the planet. Even the polar regions were home to forests of prehistoric pines and ferns. Aww. Amazing ecosystems that were robust enough to survive the and many the months of darkness during the cold to night. Oversized animals were everywhere. Pterosaurs filled the skies. Marine lizards and long-necked monsters up to 15 meters swam in the oceans. And on land, I don't know basically how much 15 everything larger is, than one meter was big. a dinosaur, <laughs> one of the most successful animals ever I'm to sorry. walk Earth, dominating know. the world for more than 150 million years. And then they were murdered. All these majestic yeah. creatures vanished in a split second of geological time. Why? Yes, it is true that around that time, a big asteroid hit Earth. But was this actually what killed the dinosaurs? Or did it arrive just in time to get all the blame? Because according to some recent science, just before the asteroid struck, an ancient nightmare, older than even the dinosaurs, decided to destroy the world. Let's look at how it might have done it. Wait, what? The beast slowly awakens. The ancient continents almost resembled the world of today, but not quite. India was still a continent-sized tropical island full of lush rainforests and exotic life on its way to smash into Asia. But this paradise also smashy, hosted smashy. something else, the Deccan Trap. Dude, India would be a massive island. Like, think about that. Just, just floating out there with luscious forests, he says. Luscious. A volcanic region a thousand kilometers wide and about to come to life in a dramatic fashion. The apocalypse began quietly and silently. About 800,000 years before the impact, the Deccan traps began to exhale about 10 million tons of CO2 and sulfur dioxide each year, which in the grand scheme of things was not that much, so for a long time, no one noticed. The problem was these emissions wouldn't stop. For half a million years, they started to dangerously pile up in the atmosphere. About 300,000 years before the asteroid, the Deccan traps started to vomit lava. This was nothing like a normal eruption. It was a lava flood. Imagine a landscape with volcanoes stretching beyond the horizon. So, I've never heard of these. I, I don't know if they're still active or what, but it just, so I'm guessing these, what do you say, Deccan traps is just essentially a, a handful of volcanoes together that are active. They were constantly active, releasing a steady flow of massive amounts of poison and lava interrupted by much more violent and deadly eruptions. 
The lush paradise of India was the first victim as gigantic clouds spread toxic fumes and poisoned the coastal regions. Oh, wow. Clouds of ash darkened the sky as rivers of magma started massive wildfires. That's kind of very scary just to look at and think about, and chat. And the continent with dead dinosaurs. The dinosaurs Still on at this fire, point, bro! It all looked like a local catastrophe, one of many that have hit our planet over its billions of years of history. Had it stopped here, there might still be dinosaurs today. But the nightmare hadn't even <laughs> begun yet. The beast turns furious. The Deccan traps would just not stop spewing lava. And so, after hundreds of thousands of years of never-ending volcanic emissions, the catastrophe became global. First, the planet experienced a wave of heating, with oceans getting at least 2 degrees Celsius hotter in just 100,000 years. Which is bad, but just about the time frame that leaves ecosystems a chance to adapt. But then, nature would pull a cruel prank. Some of the gases of the Deccan traps heated the planet up, while others cooled it down. But the mix was uneven, so after the initial warming, a period of cooling followed, massively stressing the ecosystems that barely managed that to adapt edge? to the hotter temperatures. At the same time, the sulfur know. in the atmosphere came know. back down as acid rain, while the CO2 was acidifying the oceans and killing the plankton, which was, and still is today, the basis of the food web in the oceans. And if plankton disappears, a new. massive extinction is all but guaranteed. But now, the grand finale was about to begin. About 50,000 years before impact, the true apocalypse came. Like a cosmic horror breaking out of its prison, the Deccan traps roared and screamed and began to spew out tens of trillions of tons of magma and even more deadly gases what? in an onslaught that lasted for several thousand years. How have I never Rolling heard about this shit? Devastating everything I was not taught this in school. For a time as long as all of human civilization, this lava Armageddon brought ma- Is it because there's just so much explanation that goes behind it? And like school system was just like, man, just say it's an asteroid, it's all they need to know. Massive wildfires, earthquakes and tsunamis smashed and shook the continent. So much heat was released from the roaring hot interior of our planet that it might have created hypercanes. Cyclones tens of kilometers wide, with winds reaching almost 1,000 kilometers an hour. Three times more than the deadliest hurricane ever recorded by humanity. What? These storms were so massive and intense that they could reach tens of kilometers into the stratosphere and rip holes into the ozone layer with devastating consequences for all life, now without protection from the sun's radiation. And of course, where the hyperstorms occurred, devastation and death would follow. And as if all this wasn't enough, out of the guts of the Earth came colossal amounts of venom. Giant clouds loaded with mercury and hydrochloric acid rolled over the planet, delivering the final blow to the remnants of a once magnificent and fertile world. Dude, this is as crazy. food chains crumbled and the whole world around them collapsed, some of the last dinosaurs to ever walk the Earth may have died vomiting toxic foam while being bathed in acid rain. A cruel end for the members of a noble family that had ruled the world for so long. Then it just ended. The frenetic eruptions slowed Oops. down and the endless natural disasters began to fade away. But the world was changed forever. The monster had left unfathomable devastation and corpses in its wake. Them little dinosaur Even the planet's eggs. ecosystems far away were severely wounded. It was the end of a whole geological era. A know, murder that I? started slowly <laughs> and like then turned movie, loud you know? and violent. And then it happened. Like a cosmic joke, on the other side of the world, a bright dot of light appeared in the sky. And an instant later, an asteroid 10 kilometers across smashed into Earth with the power of 4 billion atomic bombs. If you want to see what this was like, we made a whole video about it. If life Ooh, on Earth was like a murder victim barely yet. holding on, this was the final blow. Just too much. That's the uppercut. After the massacre on the other side of the world, uh -huh. the Deccan Poor traps Lord. went on expelling tens of trillions of tons of deadly gases for another 800,000 years, making sure the devastated planet stayed covered in poison. When they eventually finished and truly went back to sleep, 75% of all species on Earth had perished. Most famously, almost all dinosaurs. Except birds, the only dinos that are still with us today. Their stunning beauty and diversity are a shy reminder of how majestic and wonderful their larger cousins must have been. So, who was the murderer? Were the dinosaurs doomed by the traps, 
Or would they have survived without the asteroid? Was it teamwork? Well, we don't know. Scientists know, have been fiercely all, debating all this question for chat. years, but for now we have no definite answer. The timeline of events that we've shown here is based on some of the most recent reconstructions of the evolution of the Deccan traps. Dude, so there are crazy. other ones that paint a different picture, but right now, scientists are still fiercely arguing over this. Check our sources Deccan to learn traps. more. So, like much of true crime, we can't end this story with an easy and satisfying resolution. Time has the nasty habit of erasing evidence, so maybe we'll never really know. But there is something else hidden in the dust, something truly terrifying. Ooh, what you got? As we learn more and more about the past, we found that at least four of the five big mass extinctions happened at the same time as the Earth was furiously spewing gargantuan amounts of magma. The monster that might have killed the dinosaurs seems to be a serial killer. The worst massacre ever, the Permian mass extinction 250 million years ago, was caused by the Siberian traps, a hellish flood of lava that killed 95% of all the species of on Earth, stuff, almost bringing life to its knees. Until recently, many scientists thought that this was an outlier, but new evidence suggests it may have been the rule. Where are these traps Other at? big mass extinctions happened when the monster awoke from its sleep, and the longer and more violently it rampaged, the more slaughter we can see in the fossil record. So maybe the dinosaurs were not massacred by a casual murderer a from plug outer in the top space, of it? but by a serial killer hiding beneath our feet. Do you need to worry about all of this? Definitely not. While the monster is real, okay. it's amazingly slow and currently very sleepy. If it were about to awaken again, scientists monitoring the Earth's interior would get a warning really early, maybe even millions of years in advance. Time enough to prepare and move out of the way. Sure. Enough about mysteries of the past. Positive thinking, I like it. Let me bring you in chat, dude. Again, I, I think the thing that blew my mind the most here is I've never heard of none of this. Like, all we're taught in school is just, there's one option, it's this asteroid. And this asteroid hit the earth and it kicked up all of the dust and blah, 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 blah. Learn something new every day. And uh, you kind of feel bad for all of those dinosaurs. Some of my favorite movies of all time is the very first Jurassic World and the very first Jurassic, correction, Jurassic Park and then Jurassic World. Um, and then my youngest has always been fascinated with dinosaurs. So we have studied dinosaurs a lot, never heard of any of this, but this is absolutely amazing. And this is what In A Nutshell does. They just give you this information that absolutely blows your mind. I had a blast reacting this. Let me know what you guys think, but make sure you show In A Nutshell some love by subscribing to the channel. Fam, we're trying to get to a quarter of a million subs. So if you haven't yet, please smash that subscribe button. Join the Sauce Gang family. Enjoy the rest of your day. And remember, it's Eat, Sleep, and Make Beats. And as usual, we count on another. That's all I got. Boom, I'm out. Come on, Paul. Get him a love for the Sauce Gang. Peace out, chat. Boom.